hello, hello, and welcome back to Planned on Planning. Here we are in my personal planner. This is where I keep all of my tasks and errands and things to do around the house and my grocery list and all type of just little things that I need to function on a daily basis. So that's what goes on in here. But to even make sure any of that functioning goes on right, I need more than this. Let's just be honest. I need some cuteness. I need some colors. I need some pop. I need some stickers. I need some markers. So I know we don't talk about it often, but just in case you're wondering or like, what the heck does she actually write with? So this is what I actually write with. So I love, 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 love writing with my fine liners. Um, Stedler Char Plus fine liners. I think they're freaking amazing because of this right here, that point three. Yes, I am all about a fine tip when it comes to writing. And that's really just about anything. Um, I try to use these as often as possible. So I have them specifically for my planners. But then I have... Um, two sets that I actually use at work and then when I need to mark things up and get cute I use my mid liner so fine liner mid liner fine liner mid liner that's what I'm all about now granted I do have all four color sets of these but I'm just showing you two for now because these really are the ones that I use um, for this planner here so like every planner has their own set of puns to show you a couple of more um, fine liners that I have. See, I have some more fine liners. And every set of pens goes with a different planner that I have. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have quite a bit of planners. But nonetheless, we're talking about this one. So for this one, I use the Nature Colors. I like them because I actually like the colors of them. Now, my favorite part about using a fine liner is this right here. Bam, you see that? You see that? What? And then you can just pull one out, put one back in, write, everything's wonderful, happy, all that wonderful stuff. So, that's why I like these, truthfully. But, before I can write with fine liners, before I can hit a little highlight with a midliner, I need to do something with this. I need to make this cute, I need to make this pretty, and to do that, we're gonna start with some washi. This is the washi that I'm going to be using because I am using the um, stickers that I used last week, which would be the ones from the Zany palette. Um, and I really thought they were really cute and I wanted to use them again. It's really not often that I'll double back on um, some stickers, but the collection, as you saw last week, came with quite a lot of stickers. So it was like a no brainer to use them one more time. Now, because this washi does have a specific pattern, as you can see, the like the cute little stringy lights, I'm going to flip my planner around and we're going to do it that way. Now, normally I wouldn't use a washi this thick, especially just to go across. I'd use something about the size of these little borders, but this washi is cute. So we're gonna change some things today. All right, and to do just that, we're going to need, well, I don't have to do any whiteout today, but I do need my card so I can do my cuts. And it's just a random little card. So if you have like a gift card, um, this is uh, the movies, for the movies, whatever, an old credit card. I don't know what goes on in your life, but Ooh, it's not okay so it's tearing kind of funky as you can see so what I'll do is I'll just get out my scissors so make sure we don't run into that area again now what I will do though is just give it a little snip snip so I'm working with an even edge all right let's try one more time bring it across Now it could be the foiling on the stickers because as you can see it has the little uh, starries or the little stars. And the foil does give an issue every now and then. 
Or it could be I just did it wrong. Sure. Let's not blame others for our errors. Maybe I didn't give it enough slack. But whatever the case may be, here we are. There we go. And just a couple more on this side. And I run my finger across it just to make sure there's no lines, crimples, air bubbles, things like that. Oh. Here we go. So now what we can do, because like I said, normally when I use washi, it's a thinner washi, I can, you know, write over it because it's usually a lighter washi as well. But this one is thick and dark. So this is where our stickers are going to come into play and we can put our stickers right over it and create our borders and headers. There we go. All righty. So this is what we have to start with. And I think it's super cute other than that little mix up right there. So what I'm going to do is just cut a small piece just to put right over it. Yeah, it's bugging me that much. Sorry. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it stays. There we go. a little fix there we go love it all right so now that we're all set with our base so to speak let's get some stickers going and let's decorate let's decorate let's decorate actually i do want to put this but i wanted to put a hydrate on top so let's put this little hydrate in there like that and I wanted to put something to actually label what this is. So what we're doing with this. Okay. So I'm going to put that in right there. Uh -huh. I'm going to put another one of these right here. And then, similar to last week, I'm just going to add these two little banners. Ha ha. Let's just bring it up just a tad. There we go. I think it's super cute. Super cute. Super cute. Okay. So. Now let's add. Some of these. So I enjoyed having. Little things. On a Sunday. I do my cleaning on Saturday. Goals. Next week. And then I like this one, nice little like prep for work. Ha ha. How you like me now? So, but I do want to add for this though. Um, is a Friday on a Friday? Let's do a Friday towards the bottom. So that's TV. 
And here's a YouTube, because we all know that's a moment. YouTube, some things to watch. Uh, TV. And another YouTube. So it's like if I find some cool things. I mean, and truthfully, even if I find it on a Monday, to be honest, I'll still add it down here. I do have um, a white pen, so that's gonna be really cool to use for that. So, as my labels for the week, so like my to-dos, my todays, all that wonderful stuff, I'm going to use these. And I just really want to do like one a day. Just so it's really not so serious, to be honest. I just want to keep it really lighthearted this week and fun. Um, and truthfully, that's as a treat to myself because I was able to accomplish all of my goals last week. And the purpose of that was to make sure this week I could unwind just as hard. So we have this pretty little picture. Just a little something, something. Wow. Alright, let's put in some of these. Actually, I'm gonna put this here. Just so I can easily label out a couple of things that I wanna do. And make it so much easier for me. And I just love the way they're ombre. Like, doesn't that make it seem like the cutest? I want to put one under to clean. Just to help me with that, I'm labeling that all. Ooh, what did I do? There we go. And let's get some goals. Love it. So, here we are for this week where I just have some things going on and I'm able, right, I'm able to like really relax, take a break, maybe, you know, do a hobby or two that I've been neglecting for quite some time. That's really what I'm trying to do uh, this coming week. And I would be super stoked to be able to do it. So here is my spread for the week. Hope you like it. I thank you for spending time with me to get it created. Do not forget to drop a comment below. Comment, question, concern, um, anything you want to know. Even if you want to know where I got my pens from, I'm happy to share that with you. Or my, my fine liners or my mid liners. Happy to share that with you. If you have a more personal question, a more serious question, and you prefer to email me about it and we can chat that way, you can always do so. My email is plansonplanning at gmail.com. I will be more than happy to talk with you. Do not forget to follow me on social media. Uh, hit the follow button, then go a little further, hit the send message, and slide on into my DMs. And let's get to chit-chatting about all things planners. But in the meantime, in between time, later days.